Thank you for joining us for another edition of Car Player TV's Ask Jack. I'm Lizzie Harrison here with Jack McClellan. It's a pleasure to see you today. Happy to be here. So we have a question from one of our viewers by the name of Dave, and his wife also wants to know the answer. They usually host a home game, but recently they went to ones at a friend's house and they ran into some rules that they weren't used to. Their friends use the rule that if someone's knocked out in the small blind, then the button stays so that nobody misses their big blind. This happened <clears throat> excuse me, three times in a row at one point, and they thought it was unfair that one player had the advantage of being the dealer from multiple hands in a row. Was that correct? There sh should there ever be a time when there's a big blind and no small blind? Because Dave had never experienced that in his home game. Well, uh, Dave ran into a, a good place to play because they, they got to have the rule It correctly. sounds like it. Uh, you, you cannot miss the big blind and the button adjusts. The big blind moves one spot forward to each remaining player at that point. So what do you do when this happens in one of your tournaments and a player complains to you? How do you explain to them why this is the rule? Well, it's fair because if everybody takes the big blind, that's the fairest thing of all. If, if you have the button uh, twice in a row or on a rare, rare, rare occasion, three times in a row, yes. it might be a slight advantage, but it doesn't make it up for somebody missing a big blind. That makes sense. Well, thank you very much for coming by, Jack. You're welcome. If you have a question that you'd like to have answered by Jack, please send an email to askjack at cardplayer.com. I'm Lizzie Harrison with Jack McClelland for Cardplayer TV.